Hey guys, back again with another video to help you out. This time we're taking the radio and the heater controls out of this 2000 Dodge Grand Caravan. And I'm sure it's the same for town and country as well. Uh, it's kind of difficult if you don't know where you're looking, but uh, I figured it out and I figured I'd make a video to help others. So if it helps you, drop a like down below and subscribe. Anyway, the only thing you'll need for this is a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver and if you don't have one you can use a, a panel removal tool and opposite if you don't have a panel removal tool you can just use a flat tip screwdriver uh, it does the same thing anyway what you're going to want to do is underneath the edge of your radio on both sides you'll see a little spot right there and right there where there will be phillips head screws uh, you can't see them looking straight on. You can feel them up under there though. But remove those two Phillips head screws. Don't try to pry on this at all. But just take those two screws out first. And then down below the controls for your heater controls, they'll have this little panel right here. You'll see the seams. It's just popped out. You can pop it out with your fingers. You can use your panel removal or fly head screwdriver. And you can take those out. And underneath there, you'll have two more screws. I haven't removed these yet. here it's difficult to do with one hand holding a phone put those off to the side and then with your panel removal tool or your flathead screwdriver you can then pop this off and have access to your heater control plugs. You'll have one trigger right here. Press on it. Trust me, it comes out. And then on this one here, you'll have a trigger on this side right here. And then when you remove the radio, you'll have a 10 millimeter right here. And then on the other side, you'll have a 10 millimeter right there. And then you can pull this out to you and remove the radio plug from the rear and the plugs from the back of it. And that's all there is to it. If this helped you, like I say, drop a like down below and subscribe. I put these videos out to help other people uh, save some time and money. I know this stuff can get expensive if you send it to the shop to have it worked on. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.